back all home. I created this painting live over two days and nights during the GEMS Education and Skills Forum at Atlantis in Dubai. The piece aims to reflect the spirit of the Varki Foundation's Global Teacher Prize and what it is that makes us good global citizens. I had written this piece of writing as a starting point for the painting before I entered a trance and allowed the paint to breathe its own story on the canvas. The painting is entitled The Soul of the Earth the smile in the face that stands before us. Nothing else matters except the understanding that we are all one. Our brother is not our brother, he is just more of us, as we are merely more of him, projected fragments of our greater whole. Individual success exists only as something that nurtures the soul of others. We do not exist outside this premise, nor does love, grace, pain, joy, nor any achievable goal. Anything else is merely the restless pursuit of the deluded ego. It is unachievable, as it does not exist within the true consciousness of our universe. A smile is not a smile if it is not shared with every corner of humanity. Just as our pain and our tears are not only felt by those that love us, but by all those that exist within us. It is only the universe that truly weeps or flourishes, as the individual can love only in a moment and as part of us all. We are not connected, we are one. We cannot succeed individually, nor can we hurt, shame, love or help ourselves alone, as we exist as one soul as the weaves in a universal consciousness. Art is nothing in itself. It exists only as a reflection of us. And we act only as a reflection of every soul that walks this earth. Our universal consciousness. The individual does not succeed or fail. It only has a moment. And exists only within the wider journey of humanity. To presume that you are better or worse, more or less talented, happier, more successful or important than anyone else, is to cement your short existence as one that took from the only thing that truly gives. An artist who creates from his ego, believing it is he or she that has given us this moment, bombards us with nonsense, a contradiction of creation. We borrow our moments our moments of expression and entanglement. And from these moments of creation, a single conversation begins within the individual soul. This is lent to us only through our true understanding of humanity, of universal consciousness, and the humility of our role. It is not owned nor produced by any artist, nor by any viewer. If handed back intact, with grace and a true appreciation of the moment, it will come to us again, and we will have our chance to cherish it once more. Our moment and the meaning of it becomes eternal. As the shout of the ego fades, as the realisation of the artist's role comes to light, the whisper of something understood and cherished finally evolves. Experienced in all its majesty, the understanding of something greater than ourselves. This is my work, my belief and my life. The only truth with which I will ever create from. The light and humility that I will remind myself of every day. To live in grace and gratitude. To aspire to always be and create from something that is merely borrowed for a moment. That light, that pure and untouchable thing that is and always will be greater than myself. Every day I wake, I feel so fortunate and so blessed to be given an opportunity to borrow this moment of universal consciousness, our sacred embrace, the untouchable beauty of humanity, the only beginnings from which any work of art can truly be born. I will cherish it 
every moment I live, with every breath I have, until I pass and hand it back to our transcendental world, our keeper, the soul of the earth.